Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast and in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to transfer FSMO rules to new domain controller. So when considering and uh, doing an upgrade for Active Directory for small to uh, medium size organization, in many cases all five flexible single master operation means FSMO rules can be held on a one domain controller and in that case is where an old primary domain controller will be decommissioned and it is become important to transfer uh, all the FSMO rules to a newly installed domain controller. I create this video as additional resources addressing that need to transfer DC uh, FSMO rules from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2012. R2. In Windows DC environment, FSMO rules hold all the required information regarding our uh, domain controller or domain or in forest. It is a necessity to have uh, all these five rules uh, working currently to maintain proper domain controller environment. So for this demonstration, I have a Windows Server 2003 domain controller and currently it is acting as a primary domain controller. Currently all those five rules uh, is uh, holded by uh, this domain controller. So if you check operation master and if you see under RID master, so currently 2K3 DC01 under PDC or under infrastructure, the same options are there. If you check on a Windows Server 2012 uh, R2 box, uh, let's run net DOM query FSMO command. As you are seeing a schema master that is a forest wide uh, FSMO rules. Again domain naming master is also considered as a uh, forest wide FSMO rules and all these three PDC, RID and infrastructure that are uh, domain level FSMO rules. So as we are seeing uh, all those five rules currently assigned to 2K3 FN DC01 and we want to transfer from 2K3 DC01 to uh, 2K12 R2 domain controller which we have. So let's do that. Generally there are two ways to transfer the FSMO rules. One is a GUI base. You can use a GUI base console and a second one is a you can also take a help of NTDS util, utility to transfer the role. So initially let's uh, first use GUI base. So let's first uh, transfer domain naming master and uh, to do that I'm going to open domain.msc that is the console for active directory domain interest and uh, as you are seeing currently we are connected with 2k3 uh, dc01 so to transfer the role to 2k3 to 2k12 we just have to change the domain controller and i just select 2k12 r2 dc01 click on ok and now we are currently selected as a 2k12 r2 fn dc02 and just right click on active directory domain interest select operation master and then click on change click on yes and the operation master was successfully transferred to 2k12 r2 so we just transferred uh Domain naming master to do get well R2 for schema master. Let's open MMC and a file add a remote snap in. As you are seeing, there is no uh, snap in for Active Directory schema. So for that, we have to run one command. Rack as we are 32 SCHM MGMT dot DLL. Okay, so register a module. Now open MMC and the file, select Adenomo Snapping, and then you will find out uh, Active Directory Schema options. Uh, snapping is also there. Click on Add, click on OK, and here change the domain controller. Now select 2K12 R2 and this is 02. Click on OK. It say you can't change anything. You will not be able to perform any changes. A schema modification can only be made on a schema FSM holder. So just right click on it, select operation master and then click on change. Click on yes and sync operation master successfully transferred. Click on close. So now we just transferred uh, schema master and domain naming master to Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller. Now let's move for PDC, RID and intra. To do that, just right click on mylib.local domain and as we are seeing, uh, currently we are connected as a 2 k 12 r 2 dc 2 so that's why we don't have to uh, change domain controller. I just directly click on operation master, then here's the options for RID, click on change, click on yes and transfer successfully. Similar from uh, PDC. Okay, and then there's a 
infrastructure masters click on change and click on here okay so now let's run the command again net dom query after some more wait for the result okay so as you are seeing uh, now all five of some rules is currently assigned to 2k12 r2 dc02 so now our 2k12 r2 dc02 is acting as a primary domain controller that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this demo